Even when they're tiny, hippos will do that, rest their heads on another hippo. When they're larger, a lot of it's to do with the weight of their head. They have 36 teeth in their jaws, of which a couple of lower canines are huge and weigh a lot. So it's more comfortable to put the heavy head onto something else to take the weight. In case of Darrow, he's just enjoying the comfort of lying on Banky, who's his, one of his friends. So you've got a nearly three and a half year old, a six month old, and a one year and nine month old that she's that Dara's leaning on. They push the sand with their noses when they lay down. Travis has seen lots of hippos in America, always in zoos. These are his first wild hippos. And it's a pleasure to bring him here, because he's as excited as I am. Okay, I've been doing it for a long time, but you never tire of having this kind of experience. But it's not something that you can just do. And it really took me 20 years to have confidence to bring people this close to wild hippos. And even then you've got to respect them at all times. You can't just walk up to a wild hippo. Okay, Banky's getting up. Because Relief's gone into the water. Banky and his friend Dara, two little males together. Now they're going to go into the water. See, this is the river, the Turgri, but the only deep pool is where these hippos are. Deep enough for them to submerge, that is. And that's here. From those rocks down, it's shallow. The red you can see in the background is the flame cumbretum. 